Hey guys, it's Danny Son here. Yeah, if I'm looking a little redder than normal, it's because it's hot as fucking hell in here. And uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, going up to uh, Bowling Green to pick up my last two checks from Dairy Queen. You guys will finally get a little tour around town. Uh, I wanted to do that earlier when I was still living there, but I guess I just never really got around to it. You know, either because I was working or, you know, just plain didn't feel like it. So, um, yeah, you'll get a quick little tour around town. You'll get to see the uh, infamous Miles Dairy Queen. Which, uh, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinion, is a far superior Dairy Queen than uh, your average daily, like, brazier-style Dairy Queen. It's actually like a sit-down restaurant, and you can order uh, a lot of stuff that's not on the menu, or on, like, a conventional uh, Dairy Queen menu. Y you'll get an idea when I go in there and, you know, you guys get to actually see the place. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna turn on the car now, because it's fucking hot as hell in here, and uh, get on going. So, CNBG. Hey, guys, it's Andy Son here with Periopolis. Hey. <laughs> you sound thrilled. Yeah, man, I'm in BG uh, eating some Chipotle. And for like a hair under eight bucks, this is like super friggin' awesome. Got myself a fajita burrito with chicken. And uh, it's awesome. Ariopolis got himself a fajita burrito with steak. How is it? Meaty. Well, you heard it here. So, yeah. Alright guys, it's Andy Son here again. I uh, just got done eating Chipotle with my best bud, Ariopolis. Um, he had to scoot on home too. He's gonna visit his folks for the weekend, so yeah. So yeah, Chipotle, uh, for those of you who don't know, is basically like a, a high-class Taco Bell, basically. It's very minimalistic. They honestly don't have a lot of uh, item choices, but uh, that's definitely a good thing, so there's less, uh, less time that you're just kind of sitting there confused about what you want. As I said before, I ordered a fajita burrito with uh, chicken. That ran me about five ninety five. Then a drink, which they charged me an outrageous price for. So all in all, totaled uh, I think a hair less than uh, eight bucks. But seriously, it's the best burrito I've ever had, ever. And I really miss having access to it here in Bowling Green because you know I live in Salina now. Really glad I had that meal with Ariopolis. We talked about several things like uh, my planning. Uh, the inherent, fl I discussed my plan with him, my uh, three to five year plan involving education and things like that. And uh, he basically pointed out several uh, glaring flaws. The big flaw with a lot of my plans is that I think too long term. And because I think too long term, um, if anything, happens to screw something up in that plan, then my entire rest of my plan is just kind of thrown by the wayside, as made evident by my uh, getting kicked out of my apartment. That kind of threw off schooling and things like that. So he told me to think kind of short term, just think like a one to two year plan instead of a three to five. Yes. He presented a very, uh, a very good argument about it, and I think we're going to go with it. Um, just to give you the basic rundown, I'll just be uh, trying to find my own place in Salina instead of living with my parents. Now, I was kind of against that just because I thought, well, you know, I'll be cutting costs if I live with my parents. Granted, they get on my nerves and shit, but at least I'd be cutting costs. I won't have to buy my own food. I won't have to worry about utilities. Uh, the only thing I have to worry about is just rent money and maybe a little extra for internet and just, like, gas for the car and stuff like that. Um, but he did present a, a one-sentence argument that just completely flattened that, and that was that, you know, they don't... I mean... Well, my mom's very supportive. It's just my stepdad kind of comes in and in instigates, you know, everything in the household. While I get along with all my other family members, uh, I do get along with my stepdad, don't get me wrong. Especially after moving out, I do get along with him fairly well. It's just, I know that after a time, I'll begin to get kind of annoying and he'll want me out again, so. Since, you know, I'll be in the area for a while anyway, I decided to first and foremost get a job. Um, I already applied for an IT position. Fingers crossed, hoping that it comes to fruition. So after I get either the IT position or some other position that'll allow me to afford an apartment, I'll uh, save up for a couple months so I have a uh, rent deposit, that sort of thing. And then move out into the apartment. And then after I have everything all settled, I got all the stuff I need, I have a good amount saved up and stuff like that, which should be by year's end if I calculated everything right, then I will uh, start college at uh, Owens Community College online. After I start Owens, which should be uh, the spring semester of 2010, so pretty much like January 
this coming year. And then I'll just go for my associate's degree, which should take me, uh, just, I have a rough calculation, should take me at least a year. So we're talking like two semesters here. Um, possibly three, just depending on how they, uh, how my uh, credits from IGT Tech transfer over. I mean, if I'm allowed to take a lot, you know, a lot of my credits and stuff, I might only have to take, you know, two semesters. Ideally, I just want to take one, but it's okay if I, you know, if it takes me two semesters, that's fine. And since I'll be doing that for a year anyway, you know, I might as well just get my own place because another big argument I had against getting my own place this early in the game was that I'd have to sign a year lease and I was thinking, you know, by the time I get done with co with uh, my associate's degree, then, you know, I want to transfer over to the University of Finley or maybe like Ohio Northern or something to get my four-year, that it'll be less than a year before I can do that. But after looking it over again, I found that you know, I'll just be in the area for a year anyway. And if not, I'll just uh, work and save up for a bit until, you know, I'm able to do it. So basic breakdown, uh, get a job, save up to get a new place, go uh, to online Owens Community College, then go for my four-year. Four-point plan, pretty simple. And uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna be taking a little tour around Bowling Green since I'm in the area and we'll be for a little bit. So um, the first place I wanna take you is to uh, Finders. Now, Finders is a, basically like a record store on crack. I'm sure there's bigger record stores and stuff, but uh, this is definitely one of the biggest that I've seen. And it's got a lot of really great selections of artists that I love. Like, uh, there, I saw a couple Owl City CDs. I saw, like, an entire thing of Al Di Miola stuff. I was, like, flipping the fuck out. I was like, no way. I was like, they don't have Al Di Miola. Nope. Most people don't even know who the hell he is. Little did I know. This is... They have a uh, jazz guitar stuff up here in B at BGSU, so obviously they're gonna have. There's like a whole fucking section of jazz and fusion stuff, and I was just blown away. But enough about me talking about it. Let's go there. Hey, I'm here in Finders, and you guys thought I was kidding about the Aldi Miola. Check this shit out. Well, we got Elegant Gypsy. Consequence of Chaos, which I believe is his new one. Several copies of that. Casino, Grande Passion, Anthology. Oh my god, I want that so bad. Uh, this weird collaboration, never heard of. The thing he did with McLaughlin and Paco de Lucia. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm basically in the, uh, the jazz section. It's like an actual like section of the store. So I'm like freaking out. They also have imports and stuff, uh, but that's in a different section. So hold on a sec, I'll take it. Yeah, they even have stuff in the party free. Check it out. They got his live ear CD, loudspeaker, oh my god, and stuff by Friendly Fire. They even got stuff by Robert Fripp from King Crimson, for uh Love Cannot Beat, for that bear, sorry. More Robert Fripp. God, they got like a ton of Ozzy Osbourne stuff. And there's from Kelly. All the way to about here. Chocolate Ozzy stuff. There we go. Oh my god, they got the new CD. They got all of Owl City. They got June, which is his first EP. Maybe I'm dreaming. And two copies of Ocean Eyes. Isn't that awesome? Well, they got some imports here too, but I want to get to other sections of town before uh, stuff starts closing. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit.